in the Cretaceous, the landmass we call India broke off from those we call Antarctica and Madagascar and rapidly, for a continent, crossed the Tethys Sea, creating the Western Indian Ocean. But it wasn't a clean break. There were bits left behind along its path, the mostly underwater Mascarene Plateau and the Seychelles Islands. And two 19th century paleogeographers who thought that continents didn't move side to side, but only moved up and down and cracked and folded in place, those bands of shallow seas were perfect candidates for reconstructing a sunken, lost continent. Probably the most famous one not named Atlantis. They called it Lemuria. This is the supposed Neogene bridge between Madagascar and India. It was to explain how non-simian primates got where they are. Incorrectly, I might add, we now know that lemurs, Indian, and Southeast Asian relatives got there by way of North Africa and Arabia. We just didn't have the fossils that showed that at the time that people were coming up with these theories. Lemuria shows even more variations than the South Atlantic. Sometimes it's connected to Africa as the Indo-Malagasy Peninsula, or Willis's Africa-India Isthmus. It's this narrow, snaky thing closely following the modern ridges and islands. Or there might be a further reaching lost landmass, like a different iteration of Archelenus. The most ambitious was probably Haug's Indo-Malagasy Australian continent. He was working from an incorrect theory of how mountains are built. He pictured the Mesozoic with most modern mountain ranges and island chains inverted into narrow seas, with everything else being land, grouped into three or four continents tightly nestled together. Don't ask me where all the water went. Maybe they were just really deep. Most workers didn't take things quite that far, but the bathymetry, the measurement of the ocean floor, was not very complete back then, so seemingly any seamount could justify throwing a bridge across it. 